Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Ania's Run. I'm back here with another fun little motherfucking video. Not me skipping over my words. We are doing a motherfucking mukbang. But before we get into the mukbang, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. I'm just happy that you're here. I'm thankful that you guys are watching. Please subscribe because we're trying to hit 1K in the next motherfucking month. Okay? I believe that everybody who's watching this will allow me to get to 1K before my birthday. I'll get to one cable for my birthday. But with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm at this place in Arizona called Crab and Spice. Please, I hopefully nobody comes over here. I'm gonna turn off my car. Hopefully nobody comes over here. Because I have a bright ass light and I'm sitting in the car by myself. It's called Crab and Spice. Customer service, 9 out of 10. Oh my god, let me stop. Customer service, I give it a 9 out of 10. But it was really good customer service. I liked them. So, hold on. I'm actually going to change my shirt before I record. So I changed my shirt. This is my mom's shirt, I think, or my like older sister. So I changed my shirt. Now let's get into the fucking seafood oil. Um, it smells good. But it smells like it doesn't got no seasoning on it. This is what the seafood oil looks like. Let me smile. So I can. Okay. So let's get into this. Let's get motherfucking into this. Okay, y'all. So today I'm going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. So I want to make this like a series of me talking about things that I would do. You guys give me like ideas and I'll play off of the ideas. So the first one is going to be, I think I answered this before. If my man asked me for a polygamous relationship where I can add another woman or man, would I do it? Okay. So I want to make something very clear. I wouldn't do it because I would feel so fucking offended. Like my ego would be so hurt. Okay. We're about to get eat this crawfish. Mm, not be in a relationship. I don't know. I feel like it would be a blow to me personally. I'd be like, bitch, if you don't just leave the relationship, I feel like people would rather people would rather be like with somebody. And put up with them, but not actually, you know, like, don't really actually like them or love them. I'm going to tell you this right now. If a man came to me and was like, I want to be, ooh. Mmm. I think the juice is in the crowd. I want to be in a relationship with somebody else. I'm going to say thank you for your honesty. But I think we should just move on and find other people. I feel like being polyamorous, there's nothing wrong with that. It just isn't for me. It just isn't. So the next question is going to be, what is my sexuality? And I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Nobody's asking me these questions. <laughs> I'm literally just going off the top of my dome. But I don't know. See, I've always wanted to talk about this. I don't know. I feel like sexuality is such a it is such a big thing. But it isn't a big thing to me. I also don't want to say that I'm bi or I'm straight so I don't want to put no labels to it also I'm not queer I don't know what the fuck I am bitch I think I'm always like fighting with my inner self because mm -mm. I really do not know what the fuck I am I don't know what I am no what the fuck my car is gonna stink Mm. This is actually really good. But I feel like don't let nobody ever pressure you 
to tell them like what are you what do you like who do you like like i'm only 20 years old bitch i have my whole life to figure out if i like bitches or if i don't let me live a little damn only been on this earth for two ten years two ten years that's not a long time also i was about to do this video with the friend but they canceled sexuality is such a big spectrum i'm just like it is what it is good okay next question okay what like so lately in my life ooh, let me let me dip it in this well for the sauce when it comes to relationships though i was talking about this like on another video and i think i was like crying too ew so this is my point of view on relationships right now i don't want one and if i'm being completely honest y'all i had a sneaky link and when i was telling y'all i didn't i didn't like men and i wasn't messing with them i was i was but it was very often and off that me and him were messing together so i didn't even like this man i didn't want to be in a relationship with him and i'm being completely honest if he's watching this probably not i he didn't have a car i have a car he didn't have a stable job i have a stable job he didn't have his own apartment i don't have my own apartment but i pay my own bills he doesn't pay his own bills he's 22 i'm 20 just for me saying that your shit is just fucked up you know and i feel like i always told him i didn't have a relationship with him and he thought i think he thought i was lying but i was not lying i really do not want a relationship with him because the man barely got a car the man don't got a car he's 22 and that isn't a problem but his priorities are fucked up. So, when we linked up, right? We linked up end of, end of, um, no, beginning of December. Mind you, he blocked me and he told me, like, it isn't you. I'm just done with women. I don't want to be in a relation. I don't want to be around women. I just need to figure out myself and blocked me. Very girly. I said, okay. I didn't find it. And then he's going to hit me back. I think like two weeks later and say like, do you want to link up? I said, yes. We linked up. So once we linked up, y'all look at this. Whoa, this bitch is dripping. It's a motherfucking shell. So once we linked up that last time, I had this really big realization while we were doing the freak nasty. And I was just like, this is not something that I want to do. I don't want to have meaningless sex no more meaningless sex anymore i don't want to sleep with people who don't love me no more i hate that i'm sleeping with somebody i don't know why i thought it was okay to sleep with somebody like i'm worth so much better than this and i kind of low-key started crying <clears throat> because when he was done when we were done because bitch i finished we kind of like had this disbrief when I was walking out the door and I try to like low-key explain to him like I'm probably not gonna see you again because I don't I don't want to be in a relationship and I want to be with somebody who actually loves me and cares about me and after I left his house 
I have not been able to get up. If you know what I mean. Mmm. Mmm. But I have not been able to get up. Okay. And I thought it was like, oh, it's just like a one-time thing. So then I waited two days. And then I tried it again. And it was like, oh, like, why is this not working? Why is my body not working? Like, before I went and linked with him, I'd be able to do it all the time by myself, right? So, then it was like, my body wasn't doing it at all. No matter how much I tried, no matter if I was like, wanted to actually do something it wouldn't let me like my body was like you can get turned up but you can't get there if you know what I mean so then I was like trying to wonder if something is wrong with my body like why is my body not allowing me to do grown folk stuff anymore and then like I just stopped having any emotional feeling towards men like I don't want to be in a relationship I don't want to be around a man men don't turn me on they don't make me happy like anytime I see one like I can't the only thing I could say to myself is oh he's sexy and then after that, I don't have any desire to sleep with anyone. I don't have any desire to be with anyone, deal with anyone emotionally. And I kind of like finally confessed that to my therapist. And she's like, it could be something mentally because we have been having consistent conversations about you like, not wanting, to be in, not wanting to be in a relationship, doing all these things. So maybe it's it could be just you mentally. So mind you, and another sinking leak. So I haven't talked to him in a month, and then he hits me and he's like, "Hey, like I want to see you again." I'm like, "Okay, I want to see you too. Let's do this." So I'm like, maybe my body isn't doing anything because I'm not having a sexual intercourse with somebody else. So, we linked up. It was a hor horrible, horrible ordeal. And then I went back to his house and we did it again. And I still couldn't do it. Like, once I, once I tried it and it didn't work, like, it felt like it almost did. I was like completely turned off by the situation after that like I wanted to leave I didn't want to do it anymore I was about to say like I want to go home like I don't I don't want like this isn't fun for me like I'm not having no type of fun but then he's such a weirdo because he would drink or he would smoke before I got there and he couldn't keep his stuff up because of that and it irritated me because it was like let me tell you guys the real reason why he couldn't keep his stuff up because he's used to un girls raw that he does not know and then you know what I mean so I had to explain to this man that hey I'm not fucking you raw I know that we have this air we have this thing where we're talking to each other and we know exactly what's going on and we know that we don't want to be in a relationship when we're still seeing other people i'm trying to explain to him i'm not fucking you raw and i even asked him right we had a conversation and i asked him i was like did you fuck anybody else he's like yes i fucked one other person i said okay and then once he wasn't getting up i said i was thinking about it and I said, did you fuck the other girl raw? 
And he's like, yeah, I did. So that's why you can't get up. Because you're used to fucking bitches raw. Not gonna lie, first time we linked, it did happen. But that's because I can't even defend it. It was bad. But after that, when I started telling him I'm not sleeping with him without a condom, he's like, no. He's like, I can't get it up, basically. So from that point on, I was sitting there disassociating and I was trying my hardest to act like I was enjoying it. It didn't, it hurt, it didn't feel good. I didn't enjoy myself, I didn't want to be there. So I finally was like, what's going on? Why can't we keep it up? Why can't we keep it up? And he's like, oh, can I just take off the condom? And I was like, no, it was like, I respect it. So then, so he's just telling me like, can you do something to keep it up? I'm like, bitch, I'm not doing nothing. So we kind of argued and I said, bitch, I'm going home. Let's go home, I'm going home, I'm going home. I can't spend no more, I don't even like you like that. So then I went home and he has not stopped texting me since then. And I explained to him, like, it's not you. My body is just, like, it feels like my body is breaking down on me. Like, it's like, I don't find the things that I used to find fun, fun anymore. And it's like my body is breaking down on me because of stress. And I'm just sad because it's like, I love sucking dick all the time. But now it's like, I don't have no desire to do it. The only desire I have in my life right now is to get money and ball, bitch. Nothing else. But yeah. Damn, I'm fucking this up. Ooh. Also, another thing that a lot of people were talking about <clears throat> is that they'll date a bisexual man. And my question is, my thing is yes. I'll date a bisexual man. But let's all collectively come together. No matter if he likes dick, balls, booty, sex, vagina. He gonna cheat. Well, I don't, I'm not trying to normalize it. I'm just playing around. But just because he likes men doesn't mean that he's a cheater. Okay? No matter what a person likes, they still will cheat on you. 